right, let's get a check of your first alert forecast now with meteorologist Tony Shiveroli. Tony, we are almost to the weekend, inching closer. How is our weather looking for our Thursday? Um, as we inch closer to the weekend into SAR, unfortunately, rain is inching closer. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I know I hate to be the bear of bad news because, you know, we need rain. You know, the region needs rain. Obviously, it could be a good thing, of course, yeah. especially when we're talking about from a natural sense, you know, regulating things for the state. But for a time when people are going to be busy, there's going to be a lot of travelers on the road. It's not the best timing with Saturday. But let's focus on what you got right now. Columbia, you're looking lovely all around the Midlands. We have a good amount of clearing. Some clouds, yes, mixing in as well, but it's those 50s. That's the big story right now for the morning. A good cool down where we see, of course, the need for that extra layer out there. A little bit heavier of a jacket or sweatshirt as we begin the humble start of this day. Lexington, you're down to 54. Newberry, Saluda, we're talking 54 to 51. Then we see some temperatures still trying to hold steady higher a little bit. We got Camden and Lugoff above 55, Orangeburg 58, Manning at 55. There's going to be plenty of temperatures out there that are, of course, working to do their best to stay above 55, but it's not going to be everybody, of course. We also stay dry. That is something that does hold steady today for a widespread scent. We're going to be seeing a lovely day, some sun out there breaking through cloud cover, but then we get more of those clouds to push back in. And of course, the third tidbit on the board, the unfortunate one for Saturday, that rain really working to move in right into the start of Memorial Day weekend when people can be hitting the road. So let's see this. Of course, as you might imagine, with that rain projection, we are going to be seeing that pollen forecast dipping back in a huge way for Saturday. So just some bit of positivity, of course, for those still dealing with some bad allergies out there. Let's uh, go into that future cast now. As we see the clouds today mixing up with the sun, we get high temperatures that will be increasing from the 50s this morning, still in the upper 70s. It's going to be a pleasant day. Now, as we look later into this Thursday, I wouldn't be surprised if some areas of the PD got a little bit of some light shower activity, but that should dry up by the time it gets to the Midlands. We continue into this day. We don't really see much potential for rain. You see that it dries up really fast, and then we go on to this more cloud cover getting into Friday morning, and that will continue into the afternoon. But here comes the actual rain event. This is that big low pressure system that will be bringing rain to the coast of South Carolina first, eventually into Friday, then continuing that into our neck of the woods for Saturday. Boom, it's coming on in. Yes, it's still going to be held in check a little bit, but you'll notice the winds are going to be on the uptick. We could still easily be getting a few little outer bands of light showers Friday night and then into Saturday morning. And then boom, there's that big first push of precipitation that works to hang around. You see that counterclockwise spin if you look really close to that rain because it's a low pressure system. That's where you get in the way of the wind pattern with that. Now getting into the afternoon for Saturday, we can see a little bit of that shower aggression work to dissipate a bit, and I'm hoping that this is a projection that tries to hold steady for Sunday. Even though we could hold on to some showers, we work to see that capacity for actual accumulating rain dip back, which would again be nice for people to try and get outside a bit. As we go into the outdoor dining outlook today, speaking of outside, it's fantastic. Enjoy this Thursday. Please, oh please, with the mid and upper 70s coming for the afternoon. The clouds mixing in. It's not too breezy out there. It's going to be a nice day. 59 as we get to the highs, of course, and then lows overnight. A lot of mid upper 50s for the rest of you out there outside of the Columbia area. We're going to be consistent with some lows getting to only highs tomorrow in the lower 70s. And then Saturday, it's just going to be a tough day. It's the first alert weather day. The rain in the morning highs only near 60 before we work to rebound, turning back into those 70s Sunday looking on well to 80s next week.